It's amazing. How tough is it to actually put all this on a stage? It's it, it's an operation that requires so many more people than you'll see. You'll you see the gingerbread kids and the witch coming out of the house now. Fantastic sight. There are the people under the witch's dress driving her. There are the puppeteers up in the flies and our amazing crew moving everything around. It's, it's quite a ballet happening backstage. Every kid at home sitting here watching this is wondering, how big is that candy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's we, we have people at the opera who bring their kids into the rehearsal room and they the first thing they go for is the house, trying to take that candy off the side. Uh, who, who could blame them? Tell us about the 15-foot uh, witch. What does it take to make that happen? Oh, boy. that's Well, for one thing, it takes our singer, Liam Bonner. Uh, one of the great things about this production is that all of the singers are from the Houston Opera Studio, which is the greatest training program in the country, I think. Uh, we, we have... A young baritone, Liam Bonner, who is singing the part of the witch, that's rare in itself because the role lies so high. It poses no problems for him. He also stands on a moving platform in snowboard boots while it moves up and down in hydraulics and is driven around the stage by three people. And he has prosthetic arms and a big prosthetic head and prosthetic lips. Not really something you see in every opera. So it takes a lot of people to put this all together. Yeah, it's, it's incredible to watch. We're going to show Gingerbread House. The Houston Grand Opera presents this puppet production of Humperdinck's classic, Hansel and Gretel. Don't miss this Houston Grand Opera special production, which runs now through December 23rd.